Hello, this is Sam Bourgeois, the Director of Technology for the Lower Yukon School District. And this is going to be a short introductory video uh, to smart technologies. We're going to talk about the smart board, smart projectors, speakers, uh, even get into the uh, notebook software. So let's keep it real simple and just talk about some basic whiteboarding after we get our board set up today. So let's begin with some wiring. Okay, we're going to talk about the wiring. We're going to talk about the software that I'm using right here, which is the notebook software. We're going to talk about the pins, the tools that we're going to use that are physically attached to the smart board. Then we're going to show you how to write, erase, and then save. So the first thing we're going to want to do is plug in our smart board. So you're going to need three things. USB, that's for control. So you're going to have to control the smart board. The next thing you're going to need is the VGA, which is for video. So you're going to need that video cable. There's a lot of different types of video cables, but the... Uh, VGA is the one that we typically use here in LYSD. And then you're going to need one for sound. Okay, so that sound one's going to be a little bit tricky. And I'll show you where all these are. But if you get all these plugged in uh, to your computer, then you should be able to click on the smart board. You should be able to see your screen displayed up on the smart board and be able to work and interact with it there. Okay, so how do you do that? Well, if you're in the LYSD, uh, in the LYSD school district, then you will know. Uh, that we use smart technologies and that's a smart projector that's where you're going to plug in your video cable and typically we have that video cable run down back and behind that smart board uh, the USB that you're going to look for the USB is going to be down dangling off the lower right hand side of the board so that's going to be right here and you can see that little uh, black object down there you're going to see that you're going to have sound that's going to go to your uh, your speakers your side firing speakers don't forget, you've got to turn that switch on if you have the amplified speakers, such as in a Monic school. So you're going to have to turn those amplified speakers on by clicking that switch and plugging in the power. You'll, of course, have to power the board. So you'll need a power cable that runs down from the back of the projector. And then you're going to have to power the smart board itself. And that little green indicator light on the lower right-hand side, that's going to be board power. And that's going to come from a USB cable plugged into your computer and that's going to be right here on the side on the lower right hand side of that board. Okay, once you have all those going you're ready to go. Uh, so if that's going and you pick up a pen you should be able to write immediately. Now just writing with a smart board isn't all that great. We want to be able to basically whiteboard just like we did uh, in the old days with the, uh, with the chalkboard or with the uh, Expo markers. So to do that I'm going to use notebook software. Now notebook software is the application you're seeing on my screen now. And that notebook software is downloaded from the internet. And we can, of course, help you get a copy of that software if you want. It is free. Uh, and now that you have the notebook software, you're going to want to go to full screen mode by clicking on the view full screen option. And once you do that, you'll be able to pick up a black pen. And then you can write, just like I'm writing here on my screen, with black. Now, I don't have a smart board in front of me. I'm just using uh, a computer. So if you want to, you can use a black pen from the board, or you can use a mouse at your computer. Either way, it's going to write just like I just wrote on my computer. Now, the pen itself doesn't really mean anything. Understand that the pens are just colored objects. And what really matters is the indicator light right here on the pen tray. And this tells you that you're going to write in red. And that indicator light will tell you the color that you're using. So if you don't have that indicator light lit up, this pin will not write in that color. Conversely, if you pick up two pins at the same time, the second pin that's picked up, in this case, the color blue, will be lit up and that pin is going to write blue. The funny thing is, so will the green pin. As long as this indicator light is, is lit up, no matter what touches the board, it's going to write in blue. Alright, so if you're ready, go ahead and get in front of your smart board. Add a new page to your presentation simply by clicking the right arrow or next page or exiting the full screen mode and clicking add a page on the toolbar and you can pick up a pin and begin writing now. 
Now, once you've written text, either with the application, as I'm doing here, or with a pen from the pen tray, you'll notice on the right-hand side of my page, the Page Sorter tab is open. This lets me go back to previous slides in my presentation. You'll notice that I didn't have to take any st extra steps to save this document. The ink is still there, but understand if I do want to save this document in its entirety, I'll have to say File, Save, or File, Save As. I'll go ahead and save this document, and now you can see that on my desktop, I have a document called Test. And it's got all my ink and all my changes right there in the document. Now to erase, it works the same way as the pins. Once you pick up the eraser from the toolbar, anything you click will be an eraser. Now you've noticed in my toolbar here, I'm changing the size of the eraser, depending on how accurate I want to be. If you'd like to erase larger pieces of the screen, just make a circle with the eraser and click inside that circle. Keep in mind, whatever indicator light is clicked on that pin tray is whatever tool will be used. So if you pick the eraser up and then a green pin, you'll write with a green pin. If you pick up a red pin and then pick up an eraser, you're going to be writing as an eraser. All right, that just about does it for us. If you're ready to go ahead and try that out, open up the notebook software, create a new document, save your document, and try it out. Remember, full screen mode is always the easiest and the most effective way to whiteboard with your smartboard.